So today, guys, we're going to go over um, some seated guard, get butterfly guard stuff when our opponent's in, uh, on the knees in front of us. And I just want to give you guys a couple of uh, options that you guys can use from butterfly guard <clears throat> when you're facing a kneeling opponent. Just a few avenues for you guys to attack. Okay, Not necessarily techniques, but just a few strategies you can employ and how you can utilize them together to be more effective from uh, that position. So, as always guys, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, leave a comment in the comment section below and share this video with your friends. I'm gonna start off playing just a traditional butterfly guard and then Juan decides to start approaching me from the knees. Maybe he's a guy that likes body lock passing or more of a pressure style game. And from uh, this position, the obvious attack for us are traditional attacks, hook sweeps, things of that nature. Uh, maybe even some guillotine attacks from there. Um, but there are a few other avenues that you guys can look to explore, okay? Hook sweeps, sumigeshis, things of that nature are really good when we can get our opponent pressuring into us and then we can start elevating him over a shoulder and getting him with the, uh, with the traditional hook sweep. But a lot of times if we're fixated on just one direction of attack, say I have a good, uh, good butterfly guard sweep, um, we can find that we are often stalemated because he knows eventually that that sweep's coming. I try it multiple times. He starts to evade, he starts to push back, he starts to make his hips heavy, and then it becomes difficult to actually get the attack. So we have to start combining one attack strategy with another to keep this guy on his toes. So <clears throat> when we are um, approaching this guy on the knees, one, I'm gonna give you guys three um, attack strategies, three avenues that you guys can look to ex explore from this position. Um, the first one I want you guys to look at, we mentioned uh, hook sweeps and sumigeshis. Um, we'll get into that in a second, but first one I want you guys to look, uh, look to explore is uh, hip heisting and snap downs, okay? So from this position, I get a hold of my training partner um, at the neck over here. A good option for me to, to, to start exploring here is gonna be actually heisting up to my knee and looking to pull this guy into a gap that I create and finish in front headlock positions. And now I can start looking to either attack guillotines from here or go behind him and start taking his back. Okay, so that's one um, strategy that we can look to, to explore. The second strategy that we can look to uh, explore is actually taking this guy backwards. So traditionally, we learn to sweep people okay, in a, in a forwards direction for them, so pulling them onto us. Another good strategy that we can use is actually looking to take them backwards. If I feel, let's say going back to the Sumigeshi example, if I feel that I'm getting grips in for Sumigeshi and Juan's sitting back on his heels and he's pushing into me, I can't pull his head forward. I can't get the weight off of his center of gravity and, uh, and off of his hips. It's gonna be difficult for me to sweep him here, okay? So we saw that we can go into hip heisting and snapping his head down. Another option we can look to do is take him backwards, okay, in a backwards direction. Say, for example, with a short double leg, I could look to drag him from here, I could look to come up to my knees, and I can look to get into a short double leg, where now it's easy for me to start taking him out to the side and getting on top of him from here. Okay, so that's another uh, strategy we can look to employ. Uh, and then the third one, is actually the first one that I, first example that I cited, which was the, which was the hook sweep, okay? Both of the options that I gave you right now were in a sense either one, attacking and bringing his head down and me getting on top of him through heisting and snapping, me getting on top of him through uh, taking him backwards with double legs and things of that nature, okay? Well, hook sweeps, I'm gonna be taking him forward. So whenever I feel that from a position, from a situation like so, I feel that this guy's pressing into me, the head starts coming forward, he's driving into me, our next, uh, our best option from here in most cases, okay, very basic option is gonna be a hook sweep, okay? So from here, we can start looking to use collar tie and elbow and start taking this guy over with hook sweeps. Now, what makes these three uh, strategies good is not them individually, okay? They're all good options, but if I just fix it on one, if I just fix it on trying to drag this guy, take a double leg, it's gonna be difficult for me to actually get it because I'm just looking for one option. So the best thing that we can look to do is combine all three 
and it's going to make us more effective from a butterfly guard. So for example, I'm here with Juan, let's say I start pulling this guy and I start looking to take him with a uh, sumigashi, I start taking him with a hook sweep. He sinks his weight back, he makes it difficult for me to take him with sumigashi. From here I can start looking to come up and start tackling the legs. I can start looking to come up and start knocking him backwards, pushing him in a backwards direction. I don't have to always look for one specific move or one specific takedown. I have to use the idea of taking him in a backwards direction and taking him in a forwards direction. And a lot of times if I want to set up a hook sweep, if I look to just pull him forward, it makes it difficult for me to take him over with the hook sweep. As he goes to resist, I push him backwards. When he comes back into me, we can start looking to elevate him and take him over, okay? Same idea, let's say from here, I wanna come up on a double leg, I start dragging this guy, he starts pushing on my shoulders and pulling away. I start dragging, he pushes on my shoulders and pulls away. Every time that I feel that he's looking to pull away, pull away, I can't seem to get that, we can start switching to the collar, we can start looking to snap this guy down, high stuff, and then get to a position where now we're, we're strong and we can start going around and looking to get behind him, okay? So, using all three of these together is what's gonna make you more effective from the butterfly guard. These aren't the only three things that you can do. Um, I just wanted to give you guys three basic avenues of attack, and they don't always have to be from specific grips, okay? So as we're not going into too much detail as to the grip and the move itself, because they're all very, pretty basic techniques and they all have uh, variations, okay? There are various ways that I can come up and take this guy backwards. We saw two where I push into him with a collar guy just to get a reaction out of him. We saw another uh, option where I looked to drag him and at this time actually come up into a short double leg where I take him over to the side and actually knock him uh, backwards. So there's just two basic ways that I can take him backwards. Okay, there's obviously more of them. One way that I can start taking him forward is through Simigashi, that's the most obvious option. The hook sweep, I don't have to go collar and elbow. I can go under hook, okay, I can go over hooks. There's a variety of different ways that I can look to attack from here. Uh, same thing with heisting and snapping, okay? This one is particularly good to overwhelm the guy, okay, and make him tired and make him overreact from things, okay? I can, pra I can practice popping up, and when I feel that he wants to maybe stand up on me or maybe pull away, we come back down, and we go in to our other attack. So you can come up and down and just make this guy uncomfortable with a variety of different attacks. Always keeping in mind combining all the attacks together. So just a really, um, a way that you guys can look to approach, okay, the butterfly guard, the seated guard specifically when you have a guy in front of you that's on his knees, okay? Heisting up and using snap downs to bring your opponent's head down. Um, using any sort of attack that takes your opponent backwards, forces, forces him to either base a hand or gives you access to his legs because he's on his knees. It's also a really good option because he can't actually sprawl from that position, so you'll find that it's easier for you to take people down that way. And then also when they're coming forward and you feel that the head's coming forward, the pressure's coming this way, you can start looking to take guys over with hook sweeps and things of that nature, entering into, in, entering into legs and things of that sort. So. Hope you guys like this video. Um, just a few tips that you guys can look to, uh, to add to your game right away. A few strategies that you guys can look to apply from Butterfly Guard. Again, guys, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. As always, all the subscribers, thanks so much for the support. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below and share this video with your friends. Thanks, guys.